you know, it's kind of going on the same uh, path here as we've been going on. California, as crazy as this are, crazy as they are, Newsom just signed a bill making California a sanctuary state for children seeking gender butchering surgery without parental consent. Now, can't there isn't there something that can be done about something like this if they're inviting kids to come to get their body parts chopped off? Isn't there a recourse that can be used against the state legislators or in this case the governor of the state well, of California? Normally normally when a person asks someone to get in their van to do crazy experimental surgery, they get raided by the FBI. So I mean this would this would be a federal crime, I would think. They they might get an escort by the FBI though. So I mean <laughs> this is this is how the civil war was predicted to start. We had people predicting that civil like that state lines will be crossed. One parent will take a child across state lines to another state where this is legal and in their home state, it will not be. And the home state parent will set the, uh, the law enforcement to go and retake their kidnapped child. And this is how it's going to go. I mean, not with a one case, but right with this kind of being the mentality that California is going to say, Hey, while you cannot in Illinois entice a minor from Indiana to come and visit for the weekend, cause that's illegal. That's a felony here. You can entice a whole na- a nationwide of minors to come to your state to cut their genitals off. Yeah, I mean, you're you're right. like if you're a parent, right? And you move out of state, you can't just entice your own child to come visit you out of state without parental consent from from the parent they live with. Yet Newsom thinks he can do this with other people's kids. It's pretty disgusting. Yeah, and it falls all right there in Hollywood. So when these kids are broken because what that's what's going to happen to them, the Hollywood elite will scoop them up and send them off to their uh, private houses that they have off the coast of the uh, off the country and do God knows what to them. So, yeah. It's fitting that it's uh, in California. Yeah, I yeah. often ma- like make the joke that Gretchen Whitmer might be the worst, you know, governor in the United States. But I just say that because she gets on, she slides under the radar with all the dirty stuff she does. But Newsom, like, what was it? Just a week ago, he was using uh, Bible verses to say, "Hey, let's kill your kids." You know, it was uh, love your neighbor. If was it um, love your neighbor? That's the greatest yeah. commandment, or whatever. Well, AOC just came out and said that it, you'd be better dead than being poor. But that's yep. the whole Democrat platform is is they hate poor people. It's like you'd be better dead. And, you know, if you do survive, let's chop you up. And if you're Mexican, let's ship you to another place. Well, that goes, that goes hand in hand with the other elites plan, which is to make you dead. So if they can make you poor and then they can justify killing you, then they don't have an issue morally. And so it first, it's that- if you're poor, you should die. Then we'll make you poor. Then we'll justify your death. Also, this comment here says the end with lowering the age of uh, other consents, too. If you can consent to sex reassignment, why can't you consent to sex? That's why we call them groomers. That's what yeah, the well, end is the whole thing. A, we just had the Spain minister, interior minister of Spain saying that uh, kids should be able to consent to any age to having sexual intercourse with whomever they want. That was slippery here slope That's just got a bit slipperier. Yeah, uh, it's not the people, slope people. that got slipperier over there. People are not honest about how much these these people it's the stories inside their minds that really get them like that they, they are acting out their kinks in children. There is I posted about this this morning. A concerned parent in the area contacted me. This is a school district in Columbus, Ohio. It's a rich school district. Um, first week back at class, they were teaching about anal sex like they they were teaching about like bondage and dominating and things that are gross even to me as like an adult married person things that like and this was grade school this wasn't even high school that these things were being taught so i don't think we just think about the trans issue because we've got all sorts of issues all over this uh sexual deviancy conversation with kids we do. I'll, uh, I'll bring this up now because it's, I think, worth showing. Here's the 30 mm-hmm. seconds, and it's not actually graphic. That's the, the graphic warning that you're about to see in here is part mm-hmm. of the commercial's theatrics. This is but playing listen, in Michigan, by the way. Right. Listen yeah. to this no. attack ad on who PJ just said is the worst governor. I think it's sexist. We let her get away with stuff because it's a her. If it was mm-hmm. a him, we'd throw him out like Cuomo. Anyways, but- here is the uh, the I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, I think it's two things. I think that's part of it. But I think the other thing is just we're flyover country. Mm. You know, well, here, so here unfortunately, the, the attack ad on it. Whitmer. And I think she earns everything that PJ can throw at her and more. Yeah. Warning. The following contains graphic content from a book Gretchen Whitmer has in Michigan public schools. I can't wait to have your in my mouth. I'm going to give you the 
job of your life. Then I want you inside me. You're probably wondering why this is in a commercial. We're wondering why Gretchen Whitmer put it in our public schools. Why, Gretchen? Why? Why would you do this to our children? So I just want to say, I'm sure people watching are offended. That's the point. The yeah. point is, you should be offended. This is being put in front of our children. This is being put in front of, I mean, my kids don't go to the public school here because of stuff like this. But that is the kind of, like, if you're offended seeing that, that's what your kids are being shown in public school. And it's from not the, just and, in Michigan either. And that's why not. parents are mad. That's p- Parents are being labeled terrorists or worse for speaking up about that. What you just saw, what you might be mad about seeing and having your kids see is what parents are trying to raise awareness about, and they can't. And there's more than just that type of book. There's other books just like it, flooding not just the libraries, but the kids' classrooms <laughs> as well, and being encouraged to read them by their teachers. So again, yeah. they've gone full force in this propaganda and this uh, and this effort in order to confuse your children and continue to uh, utilize them as this, as this sick, perverse way of destroying... Uh, whatever good that's left in our nation. That book, by the way, is called This Book is Gay. And it actually has a segment in the book that encourages children to go on grinder to experiment with their sexuality with adults. Mm-hmm. So when you talk about grooming, this is a literal, a literally a groomer book. And I, I won't even go into the other graphic depictions. Actually, what you just saw in the commercial was far less graphic than other things in that book. Yeah, unfortunately. the parents who have uh, brought that before uh, school boards have been shut down by the school boards by reading and saying it's indecent to read that at the school board meetings in front of adults, but they're putting in front of the kids. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's disgusting. And and like, uh, like I was saying with, with Whitmer, she's, she's given a pass because we're flyover country. I think is part of it. You know, it's like if it's New York or California, people pay attention, you know, uh, Cuomo can lose his job. Newsom gets all the attention. That's why I think Whitmer might be one of the worst, maybe the worst, is because she gets away with so much that no one else would get away yeah, with. Yeah, she not had brought just, to the public attention. She had just as many, if not more, seniors more. die in her nursing homes in, in more per, the COVID matter. More per capita. It was way worse here than it was in New York. Yeah. Right, that's, that's why I said if, if she were a man, we'd have gotten rid of her like Cuomo. Yeah. Well, I also think that part of that was the fact that as soon as the national attention went to her on that subject, because it did for a moment, uh, she was uh, going to be kidnapped. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was right. right around that time. when the F- It was exactly around that time when the FBI uh, set up a fake kidnapping of Gretchen Whitmer, which is also not making national news. You know, we'll hear about we'll hear about national news as Alex Jones having set a conspiracy theory on his conspiracy theory podcast. Oh, my gosh. Color me shocked. But not Gretchen Whitmer colluding with the FBI to stage a kidnapping of her to get her out of the national spotlight for killing grandparents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wonder if they tell her. Like, do you think they brief the governor? Hey, mm-hmm. we're going to have a false kidnapping plot. Or do you think that they just have her here in the news? that there was a plot that was foiled that way. Her reactions authentic. So I tried to look into this Tom. And the reason I think that she knew is because there's a lot of stories, old stories about Gretchen Whitmer and her relationship with the FBI that have been scrubbed from the internet. So you can still find them. And then when you click on them, they're gone. So like, I don't know. I just, that might just be me like reading into it too much, but I think that she's got some weird connection there with the FBI that used to be acknowledged and now has been scrubbed from the internet. Well, um, her, her family is like deep state connected three generations up. I went over that in a live right. stream as well. Her whole family is like connected to a bunch of other people that are deep, dark, dirty. So right. it wouldn't surprise me at all. Thank you so much for checking out this clip from the last American Pubcast, the only podcast where everybody knows your name. And hey, while you're here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and join us on a Saturday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Otherwise, you might get stuck with the tab.